second annual Murder Ball Rugby event and dinner saw the likes of Joe Marler, Laura Wright and John Inverdale descend on Twickenham in order to help raise vital funds to support those to whom the sport has been a lifeline. Yeah, the Murder Ball event's a, uh, a great event to be a part of. For me, uh, the personal connection is to um, a chap called Paul Barker who I played with down at Isha when I was on loan uh, a few years back now. and. Um, he unfortunately uh, broke his leg, um, ended up finding out that he had bone cancer and unfortunately lost his leg. It was something he got involved in through Matt Hampson um, and uh, the Leicester Tigers wheelchair rugby team as well. Um, and the event you know, was the first time we did it last year and it was brilliant. You know, rugby, if you are an ex-rugby player, Finding something that replaces that adrenaline rush is very, very difficult. Whatever situation you might be in, it's exacerbated by if you find yourself having a disability that maybe you weren't born with as a consequence of an accident, whatever it might be. But irrespective of that, you're so right. It means that there's a means by which you can get out, get rid of all that energy, but also play something that's competitive. Because the great thing I think about sport is, if you have that competitive gene inside you, it never leaves you. One of the guests at the event who no doubt agrees with John Inverdale is wheelchair rugby player Daniel Wade. Well, I enjoy it, just the contact of it. I used to, um, I used to play able-bod rugby, and when I could no longer play that, I just I was got, got a bit sort of down and depressed. So I was really looking for another sport which had the same, well, sort of the same kind of level of um, intensity about it which I never really found until to, to start playing wheelchair rugby. As official England rugby anthem singer and women's rugby player, Laura Wright is no stranger to competitive environments, and she's already sampled wheelchair rugby for herself. My first experience was with Leicester Tigers and also Prince Harry's Invictus Games team um, for the sport, and I fell in love with it. I think it is a wonderful sport, not only for the disabled, but for me just to go and have a go and play. Um, I realised how competitive it was and how you know the teams were just so into it and so ready and willing to win and give everything and it was actually such a physical sport and I, I had no idea of that at the time. Um, so I think to be here tonight and show my support is really important and it's important that others do that as well. So what about Paul Barker himself? How different does he feel 12 months on from the inaugural Murder Ball event? To be honest I came today half asleep you know, 10 minutes before the first game and I didn't Oh, I didn't think I was going to play much and I ended up like, really playing a lot and uh, enjoying, enjoying every second. It was nice like because last year it kind of I was like going through treatment, I was going through chemo last year and I like you know I didn't have any energy, I felt half, half dead and now this year I feel like a different person and like and I got to play, play with the guys today and uh, yeah it was a really good experience. And so the great thing about this I think for all the guys if you talk to them about it if they still you know the fact they don't like losing but even when they load, even when they do lose, they know somebody else has won. So they know there's been a contest, there's been a fight, and that's what they love, and they want to do it again. So that's the great thing about it, really. The, the, the fact that you can, irrespective of what circumstance you find yourself in, you can still play something that is very, very competitive. There is always something after the rugby. There is always something. I've had experiences of friends who have been injured through the sport and then found a way back with wheelchair rugby or murder ball. Um, and I also think that it's a sport that brings together people. I know that as a singer, I perform on my own, but when I play sport, I'm part of a team. And I think if you have haven't had an accident or an injury, being part of the team, that brings you together and gives you that support that you might not have otherwise. Well, without these kind of events so, and donations from people, the, this, our team would not, wouldn't happen. We've, uh, we rely almost purely on, um, on donations and uh, events like this just to help us uh, through, the, uh, through the season. To donate or to keep in touch with the latest from the Murderable Rugby team, head to murderballrugby.com.